Hello, and a very warm welcome to Not the Nine O'Clock Lecture. I'm Nigel Watson, your college principal, and actually this is the 2020 Pendle Sports College Awards, one of our most important and prestigious events in our calendar, where we celebrate and honour our high achievers and our winners in a full range of competitive and recreational sports in our college. Whilst it always feels great to win, we all know that in college sports, there's much more to it than that. Whether you're in an A-team or whether you simply enjoy a lunchtime game of darts, pool or table tennis, it really doesn't matter. As we all know, taking part in college sport is a great way to meet new people, make friends, develop your confidence and new skills, and more than anything else, it's a great way to forget about your academic work and other things that might be going on in your life at that moment. So before I hand back to our compare for the evening, I just want to say to those of you who will be graduating this summer, good luck. I hope you get the results that you're hoping for and truly deserve. And for those of you who will be coming back next year, we're really looking forward to seeing you in October. So without further ado, I'll hand you back. I hope you have a fantastic evening and throughout the summer, stay safe and well. Thank you very much. Thank you, Nigel, for that amazing introduction to this year's Pendle 2020 Sports Awards, the virtual edition. I'm Megan Liddell, your current JCR Sports Officer. Before we get into all of the fun and award giving this evening, I'd just like to say a massive thank you. Thank you to all of those who voted for me in the by-elections and thank you to all of those who have given me support and guidance throughout this year. It has been definitely very difficult, but very fulfilling. It's an amazing opportunity and experience, so thank you. I also want to say a massive thank you to the JCR, the SCR and all of the sports captains who have helped me even though I bomb the group charts at 1am. I also want to say a massive thank you to the execs who are the reason Pendle Sports continues to run so smoothly on a day-to-day -day basis. It is their hard work, motivation and dedication to their clubs and the people who are in the clubs that keeps Pendle Sports being so outstanding and I'm so indebted to them for their help and support this year. I'd like to hand over now to Naeem Khan, who is the table tennis captain and who will give you a rundown of the table tennis year. Hello everyone, I'm Naeem Khan, your Pendle table tennis captain for 2019-2020 stroke season. First of all, I'd like to say a big thank you to the team for all the efforts put into competing in this year's league. Once again, we came so close to winning the league, finishing runners-up to Finesse. But for three consecutive years now, we have shown that we can still be competing at top level. And I would like to say a big congratulations to the team for this achievement. I have seen players improve their game from the get-go and even in matches as the season progressed. And I credit the players for showing a sense of competition and enjoyment during the training sessions, allowing the team to further develop their skills in the game. My highlight would be the victory against Boland College away later in the season, as the team were very tough to uh, beat in their home college, and for the team to come out on top in a very narrow field of movement by playing excellent shots shows that we have the resilience and confidence to drive ourselves further into winning uh, these, these critical games and pursue ourselves into challenging for the title next season. I'm sure the team will do even better next year than this year with our new captain on board and I'd like to introduce Tom Badansky as our new captain for the 2020-2021 stroke season. Thank you, Naeem. The winner of the Table Tennis Trophy this year is Noah Pell. Well done, Noah. And now I'm happy to hand over to Imogen, Gwenny, Hannah and Erin, and Alice and Lauren, the netball A, B, C and Rec captains. Hi, everyone. 
For those of you who don't know, my name is Imogen Fawcett, and for the past year I've held the position of Pendle Netball 18 captain. I'm incredibly proud of every single netballer in the club this year, and over the next few minutes you'll be hearing from the different captains about their team's achievements. I'm going to start by giving a brief summary of the A season, and how, for the first time in history, we managed to win the league. From our first trials, it became clear this year was going to be a special one. Gaining Ruby from Down Under and LH from County College, we had experience alongside the fresh faces of Soph, Lydia and Rach who joined us as freshers. Shara and Steph moved up from B's to join myself, Liz and Lou and complete the Dream Lean team. However, despite knowing that the A's are a side to be reckoned with, the road to Roses was not without its bumps. We started the season with a draw to Lonnie and after this we grew in confidence and ability but most importantly grew closer as a team. Shaking off the underdog label, in Turn 1, we took on Fylde, Grisel and County to win all of our matches and rise up the league table. Entering Turn 2 and after waving Ruby back off to Australia and we gained Elnav, it was time to turn up the heat. We started with the game against the Uni Thirds to, to prepare ourselves for more wins against Finesse and Grad. However, the climax of the season came in our match against Boland. After keeping the fans on their toes for the first half, we came back strong to take the lead in the third quarter and win the match 29-22, securing our place at Roses 2020. While we never cemented our inevitable win against York, I couldn't be prouder of what the A's achieved this year. The chance to captain Pendle A's is something I've looked forward to since arriving in Lancaster as a fresher. I'd like to thank the whole team and everybody in Pendle Netball who made university such a rewarding experience and everyone in college sport. I can't wait to see where Sophie Horn and Becky Lynch take the club next year. And now I'd like to hand you over to Gwenny, our B's captain, to talk through their team. Thank you very much. So you may have heard a lot about the A's over the year with their successful Road to Roses campaign. You've probably heard less about the B's, but I think the best way to sum up our year would just be to say that we had fun. We didn't get off to the best of starts, losing our first few league games, but we were a fairly new team, so we were improving more and more every time we played together. And even though the league wasn't going so well, we still had everything to play for in the cup. In the first round, we drew foul seas and claimed our first win of the year with a convincing 16-8 victory. We then had the pleasure of drawing our very own C team in the next round, although the Lancaster weather was determined to postpone this clash of the Titans till after Christmas. Over the Christmas break, we lost our favourite Aussie mum, Mackenzie, although her tactics, energy and zonal defending would definitely stay with us. We also lost Elle, who thoroughly deserved a bump up to the A's. However, we did gain Laura with her brilliant lean under the post, and Rhea, who made the transition from badminton court to star shooter. Eventually, we faced off against the Seas after Christmas, and despite a brilliant game from them, we came out on top. A run of good fortune did come to an end against County A's in the semi-finals, with an unsurprising 48-13 defeat. When I look back over the year, although the scoreline may see otherwise, those 13 goals were the hardest own goals we ever scored, with everyone giving it their all right till the very end. In the league, we did claim one win against Finesse that left us finishing seventh. So although not a record-breaking year, we definitely improved so, so much. From a fairly new defence at the start of the year, they became cohesive and rock solid, with notable performances from Eloise throwing herself into some amazing interceptions. Down the other end of the court, our shooters also gave it their all, with some brilliant distant shots, particularly from Caitlin. And when it was all knitted together, it was a very proud moment. So Corona permitting, I can't wait to see what you all achieve next year. Hi everyone, I'm Hannah and I was one of the co-captains for Pendle Netball C Team this year. I've had the best year playing with these girls and want to take this opportunity to quickly sum up our season and thank the girls for making the C Team what it is. I won't lie, C started off with a bumpy first term. We were playing well as a team and loving every second of game time but we struggled to get the edge in our games and despite pushing for that win, we fell short each week. Whilst not getting the results we wanted, these early games were crucial for the team, bringing us closer together and keeping our passion and fight for that win alive. Come January, this season wasn't going amazingly, we'd lost and gained some players, but at what couldn't have come at a better time for the team, a knight in shining armour joined my side in the form of my co-captain Erin. Erin and I joined forces and the fate of C-Team turned around. We grew stronger as a team and just as we were closer than ever to that win, the Lancaster weather turned against us and saw us without a game for over a month. However, the team stayed strong and on the 4th of March we played our first game since January and what a game it was. We went out fighting, ready for that win and the C's pulled it out of the bag with a massive 
25-9 win against Lonnie. Our highest goal total and such an amazing game. I cried a lot. This was an amazing moment for the Seas and such an experience. Erin and I have had the best time captaining these wonderful girls. Soph, Kath, Han, Reggie, Shah, Swin, Abby, Lauren, Meg, and our ex Sea girls, Laura, Caitlin, Lauren and Libby, thank you. It has been a pleasure playing with you all, growing together and getting an incredible win for the team. I'm gutted that our year was cut short and that the weather wasn't always on our side, but I couldn't have asked for a better group of girls to play my last year with or a better co-captain in Erin. What a year. The first time a sea league occurred for netball and Pendle Seas finished sixth out of nine. We'll take that. Thanks, gals. Erin and I will miss you. Hi, everyone. I'm Alice. I was one of the captains this year at Pendle Netball and I was co-captain of the recreational netball team. This was with my friend Lauren, who can't be in this video due to the fact that she is a key worker in Tesco at the moment and she's very busy. So this video comes from the both of us. I think we'd both agree that one of our biggest achievements this year with Rec Netball was the amount of girls that we had that were interested. Altogether, in the end, we had over 50 girls that were interested, which was quite a lot of girls, um, which we had girls that had never played netball before, had only either played in high school or had quite a bit of previous netball knowledge. So it was a really big mix and a lot of freshers, which was really great to see. In the end, we decided as a club to enter one team into the league. And because we had so many girls that were interested, we also set up a weekly weekend league, which was just for friendlies. So that meant that we had girls that could play in the league that were a bit more confident and girls could play in friendly matches that weren't as confident to build up and play into the league, which was a really good system. And it was great to see so many girls that gaining confidence, not just on the court, but off the court because of the club in general. Um, I think Lauren would say that probably her favourite thing is the fact that even though we didn't do the best in the league altogether, every game the girls worked so well together, we were improving every match and no matter what the score difference was or what the score was, we always kept going and worked together as a team and we tried our best. So that was probably one of my favourite things about Rec Netball as well is that we never give up, we keep going and we always have a nice time. Um, I'd also like to take this video just to say a thank you from myself and all the other captains at Pendle Netball and also the whole exec for all the girls that we've had this year for their hard work, commitment and dedication to the club and also a personal thank you from me for making my fourth and final year in Pendle the best it could have been. So thanks very much, hope you're all keeping safe and hopefully we'll see each other soon. Thank you Netball Captains and the winner of Netball Most Committed is Imogen Fawcett and the winner of Netball Most Valuable is Alice Mills. Well done girls and now I'm happy to hand over to the football captains Danny, Ethan and Joe and Simon. Football A, B, C and D captains. Hi everyone, I hope you're all doing well. I'll get straight into the season summary for Pendle A's football. So we've had a bit of a mixed bag of a season this year. Um, some great performances and some not so great performances and lots of draws in between. So starting off with our opening game against Fylde, a tough start. I thought we've played very well. Um, definitely a great start for our opening game of the season. Um, but unfortunately, we were robbed by the referee and lost 3-2. Then a 1-1 draw against Lonnie followed. And then we demolished Boland 5-2. Next, a 3-3 draw against Furness. Then another draw with a 1-1 result against County. Um, but then we finished off the season with a massive 4-0 clean sheet win over Grisdale. Um, onto the cup campaign. It was interesting to say the least. Um, we drew Wani in the first round of the cup and after an intense game it finished 3-3 and unfortunately we went on to lose penalties in that game which dropped us into the plate which brought some very strange games against Grad A's which we won and then filed C's which we also eventually won. Um, but then after that we proceeded to the final and unfortunately again we lost that game, so came runners up. But overall, um, a good season and some great memories. 
I'm very proud of the boys achieving third in the league this year and runners up in the plate. And I know there'll be great things to come next year as well. Pendle Bees reached double figures in points for the first time in years this season, thanks to wins against Grisdale, Grad, Cartmel and a hard-fought draw against runners-up Bowland. This is a great achievement, with everyone in the squad contributing from front to back. In Nets, there was plenty of rotation this season, with Scouse, Chesters, Toma, Lopez, Stanyard and AA all doing a valiant job between the sticks at various points. Thanks to all of you for filling in as and when needed. In front of them, a defence of Gabs, Monda, Luke and George put in sterling performances each week. Luke and Monda formed a rock-solid partnership at centre-back, with Gabs and George combining sound defending and quality attacking support on the overlap. Monda showed quality distribution with plenty of no-nonsense defending, and Luke proved useful in both 18-yard boxes, marshalling our defence and chipping in with plenty of goals from set pieces too. And in midfield we had Benny and Iddy, who combined physicality with intelligent and incisive passing. Uh, Juan uh, added that Spanish flair to our build-up play, and Muna and Andre uh, showed incredible distribution through the final thirds. Uh, in attack we also had Diego and James, who showed relentless energy and directness for goal, while Keita and Joe provided the creativity and skill that tore up defences across the league. Uh, we know that this squad has great potential and we're sure they'll go on to do even better things next year. Uh, but for now, Joe and I just wish the best of luck to those graduating and the same to the team and the incoming captain, Elliot. Uh, we're sure you'll smash it. Hello everyone, my name's Simon Bradshaw and I've been the captain for the C and the D teams of Pendle Football Club this season. A quick summary of the C team season. We improved upon last year's results claiming four victories in the league of the matches that we played. And we finished with three clean sheets in a row, leading to me to believe that next season we'll have an even better year and improve again going forward. Um, we formed the D team this year. So it's the first year that we've entered four teams into the league. And uh, that obviously shows that the club is going from strength to strength and gaining more members and improving as a whole. Our uh, funniest moment of the season, without a doubt, um, goes to the one and only Peter Viney, who in the D-team's first match became the first D-team player to be cautioned, to score four, and to be sent off for the D-team, all within the space of 20 minutes. A true record breaker there. I'd like to take a moment to thank all the graduates that are leaving Penn FC this year, uh, especially those that have played in you know, the C and D-team with me this year. Um, it's been fantastic working with all of you, and I hope you got on to do fantastic things. Um, in terms of running both teams this season, it hasn't been easy, but I've really enjoyed it. So I'd like to thank all the players that have played alongside me this year. And the, the winner of this award uh, is, is no surprise. He's been fantastic in training, in matches, and in the social aspects of things. So a very worthy winner. And um, So once again, enjoy the rest of the panel awards, and thank you for your time. Thank you, football captains. The awards go to, for A-Teams Captain's Player, Tim Bryce, for A-Teams Player's Player, Kareem Shah, for B-Teams Captain's Player, Gabriel Valaji, for B-Teams Player's Player, Joe Sims, and finally, for C-Teams Player's Player, Vasco Vieira. Well done, guys. And now I'm happy to hand over to Casey Diamond, who will tell us all about the domino season. Hi everyone, um, I'm Casey, I'm the Pendle Doms captain this year. Um, this year for Doms, we started off really, really well, but so did other teams. It's been such a close league and we were actually due to go into like a four-way title fight in the last week where um, Cartmel and Lonnie played and we were going to play filed and that would decide the th the top four um really exciting it would have been but unfortunately uh the apocalypse happened and now it's been stolen from us so uh, i just want to reassure all the doms fans out there that i'm going to do everything in my power to make sure that the final 
legs of matches are played um, and we are given the chance to win the title because we deserve to. Um, next year's captain is going to be Mark Dearden. Uh, my dog's cat, my dog's partner this year, uh, someone that I didn't really get on with for a, a lot of time in Penn Wild Sports, but yeah, this year really growing to love him, and I'm sure he'll do an amazing job. Um, just want to say thanks for a really great three years. I don't think that, uh, well, my uni experience definitely would be very different. <laughs> I've not got involved in basketball, <laughs> so yeah. Um, cheers and keep washing your hands. Thank you, Casey. And I'm happy to announce that the winner of the Domino's Award goes to Verity Bennett. Well done, Verity. I'm now happy to hand over to the pool captains of Men's A's, Aaron and Danny. Men's Bees, Matt and Tom, and Women's, Bella. So I'll be speaking on behalf of Pendleley's pool team, uh, on behalf of myself and Danny, who have been co-captaining the team this year. Uh, we've had a pretty good season. We've finished third in the table, but I'm calling it second because we had a game in hand above the team that came second and we were only one point behind them. So assuming we didn't get thrashed 9-0, we'd have come second so we'll call it second we came second in the league uh we've had some great stand-up performers mark did and in term two he break dish three in four matches which i thought was great kept us in the matches and a lot of times when we needed a key break tommy newham was uh not far behind him nine wins in 14 whereas mark was 12 and 15 tom though i do feel he could say he could have been on 10 wins in 14 had he not decided to do a trick shot competition on the black against ryan helm i'm still getting trying to get over that yeah, i'm not really happy but moving on we've had a good season we've had a lot of new um players some people haven't played in the 18 before some people haven't played pool before who got a show in the 18 this year so you've got john hughes ethan lopez uh nick eva uh Jack Lay, Elliot Mills, Ronan Blunden. We had a lot of new faces in the A-team this year, which was great to see, and it's going to be great for next year. And um, speaking of next year, I'd like to congratulate and announce that Rory Webb will be the A-team captain for next year. We believe he'll be a perfect fit for the role. He's been in the A-team for two years now, and he's great in terms of talking through the plays and the matches and... I really like it when he takes over refereeing a lot of the games. Saves me a lot of hassle. But congratulations, Rory, and I'm sure you'll lead us on to a great year next year for Pendle. Hi, everyone. I'm Matt, the captain of the team pool for this year. As you can see, my hair's grown a tiny bit since everyone last saw me. But yours probably has too, so it's all good. Hope you're all well and doing good. And keeping safe wherever you are, if that's uni or at home. Uh, men's B pool have had a good season this year. We've had some good games and some bad games. From 7 2 wins to 8 1 losses. Everyone in the B team wants to have a bit of fun. Whether that's from getting too cocky when you're winning the game and ending up doubling the black and putting the white. German. Or just playing Chris Kamara's Christmas album during our home games. Unfortunately, we didn't get to play our last game against Final, but I'm sure we would have smashed them. It would have been a great win and a good game to see the season off. Hopefully once all this is over, we'll be able to get back together again and have a few drinks and play again. So... We've got to announce the new captain as well today. Um, it's been a hard choice for me and Tom, the co-captain. Uh, but we have chosen. Drum roll, please. <laughs> Elliot Mills will be our captain for next year. Thanks for listening. Bye. And stay safe. 
Hi guys! I'd just like to say that it's been an amazing year here at Women's Pool. I'm so proud of every single one of my team members and I love them all so much. It's been really such a pleasure to captain everyone this year. Um, and we've had loads of fabulous new recruits, which is just brilliant. I know there's a lot of us leaving, but I'm so proud of everyone new that's joined as well. Um, I'd like to mention three memorable moments from the year. Uh, firstly was beating Lonnie because that was just really great. <laughs> and Na also Nara's first win, which was against Furness, which was also the night that we got an 8-1, which was really good as well, unfortunately for Becca, because she had to buy us all shots the next week. Um, and also for all of Bar Sports as well, the first term social at Hustle, um, which is very sad that we can't go again, but that was just brilliant. Especially for John Hughes' birthday. <laughs> but um, I can honestly say that I really, really enjoyed every single moment of Bar Sports this year, especially in Pendle Rooms, listening to Pendle Gay List. It's just been such a pleasure. And I'm so proud to say that we've won the league now for the second year in a row. Um, and I'd like to announce Megan as our captain for next year. I'm so proud of her because she hadn't really played much pool before coming here and she's come a really long way and she's been really dedicated and put a lot of time and effort into this. So yeah, well done guys. Hello everyone, I'm Lewis Powell. I'm the Pendle President and I'll be presenting the Pool Awards this year. So firstly, the Pool Player of the Year Award goes to Bridie Thornton. The Men's A Pool's Captain's Player Award goes to Rory Webb. The Men's A Pool Most Valuable Player Award goes to Mark Dearden. The Men's B Pool's Captain's Player Award goes to Simon Bradshaw. The Men's B Pool's Player's Player Award goes to Luca Vincent. The Women's Pool's Captain's Player Award goes to Megan Liddell. The Women's Pool's Player's Player Award goes to Gwynnie Hoslett. Congratulations on your awards, everyone. I'd like to now hand over to the Arts Captains, Lou for the Women's and Ethan and Joe for the Men's, for their speeches. Hi everyone, I hope we're all safe and well given the circumstances. I'd like to say how proud I am of the Pendle Women's Darts team this year. We've had 10 committed and lovely members and it has made picking the seven that play each week extremely hard. I'd like to say a huge well done and thank you to the team. Um, and even though the league was cut short, I, I'm pretty sure we would have ended fourth or third, which is a huge achievement. Um, I would say my favourite memories from this year have been definitely Soph Green scoring a 180. Um, this was in first term and she didn't even own her own pair of darts. Uh, and Icy for beating the Finesse opponent in second term, winning her first game. It was uh, both both memories were huge achievements and it was a real buzz when you were there in the moment. Um, moving on to next year. There isn't a captain yet, so if anyone is interested, please uh, message me or like just put your interest out there. We also have a lot of graduating and people sadly leaving our team. So any women out there, if you're interested in playing darts, then please join the team in October. Uh, that's it from me. So well done to everyone who winning awards tonight. Hello. It's been a cracking year for us. As captains of the men's darts team. Third place by one point. Being the only team to beat the champions, Furness. And ending the year with a 5-4 win over Lonsdale were pretty impressive achievements. For a team with such incompetent leaders. I've spent three years worth of Monday nights in various campus bars playing darts and I'd happily do it all again. The group this year clearly loves the fans and loves the darts and for me that has made this the most enjoyable year of bar sports. The new additions to the team got stuck in and all our senior dartists stepped up to the hockey in one way or another. I'd just like to thank everyone really for some great nights and say a big thank you to Ethan for steadying the ship when I was forced to be elsewhere. I'd like to start off by saying a big thank you to every player in our team. You've all put a lot of effort in this year and it shows when we came third in the league but to me this was the best darts team on campus simply because our atmosphere was so unique and that really brought out uh, the best in all of us. Beating Lonnie and Furness are two key highlights of this team's performances this year, uh, but what really made it special was uh, how much time people took to 
get better and practice uh, in between matches. A lot of players are leaving this year, I know, but if you guys keep the same atmosphere and keep the same, the same feeling around the darts team, I'm sure you're going to have a great bunch of lads next year. I think all that remains is for us to say good luck to next year's team and to the next year's captain, Elliot Mills. You'll need it. Thanks, darts captains. I'm really happy to announce that Tommy Nguyen won Men's Darts Championship and Sophie Green won both Women's Darts Players Player and Women's Darts Most Improved. Well done guys, that's amazing. I now want to hand over to Kim Montgomery, who you all probably know, who is going to be awarding the Guinness Trophy, the Tom Reynolds Award, um, the Kim Montgomery Award that's dedicated to her and the Scully and Shield. Guinness Trophy is awarded to the best team player in men's darts. It's not just about their playing ability, but about their dedication, fun and team spirit. The winner took part in all 15 games this year, winning 10 of the games. He was the life and soul of the team and very supportive of other players. Pendle Sports will be very sad to see him go. The winner of the Guinness Trophy is John Hughes. Tom Reynolds Award is awarded to the most outstanding bar sports competitor. This person is a university team darts player, even though he only started playing this year. He won 9 out of 14 of his darts matches and always can be found practicing in pendle rooms. He was also a member of the men's A pool team and won 8 out of 15 of his pool matches this year. The winner of the Tom Reynolds Award is Aaron Stanyard. The Kim Montgomery Award is awarded to the player who has shown commitment to Pendle Sport and made a big contribution. This person was sports officer in his first year, putting on successful Pendle Cups, Warriors and Sports Awards. He has been on the football B team for three years and as co-captain of the B team this year. He joined Pendle Darts in year two and co-captain men's arts this year, winning 10 out of 14 games. As if that wasn't enough, he also played 18 pool this year, winning 8 out of 14 of his matches. The winner of the Kim Montgomery Award is Ethan Lopez. The Scullion Shield is awarded to an outstanding individual in one or more sports. This player is a critical player in Pendle Netball B team and has been for three years. She's also part of the University Netball Umpiring Society and is in the second year of doing that. She's also part of the umpiring executive as fixture secretary. She's also started playing rugby for the university this year and as part of Pendle Women's Darts uh, in her second year, this year she's won five out of her six games. She's seemingly capable of playing any sport she tries. The winner of the Scully and Shield is Georgia Whelan. Thank you so much Kim for coming tonight, for being a part of this. I hope you've had as much fun watching this as we've all had. I now want to hand over to Luke and Chantal, the college managers, who will be giving us a brief summary of how our sports teams did over this year. Hello, hope everyone is well and enjoying Pendle's online sports award ceremony this year. Things are a bit different to normal. Um, but we hope you're still able to enjoy the evening and celebrate the successes of the college sports teams. Yes, it's lovely to see you all and I hope you are keeping safe. We have really enjoyed hearing about the sports teams this year and we're gutted that the Pendle Cup had to be cancelled. Let's look forward to things getting back on track for this next year. Some of the highlights this year have included the men's A pool team finishing third in the league, only one point behind second place, and the men's B team finishing sixth in the league. And a massive congratulations goes out to the women's pool team who came first in the league. Well done to them. On darts, we have the men's darts team finishing third in the league and only one point behind second place. For the women's darts team, they finished second in the league. And for dominoes, the team finished second in the league with only two points behind first place. Congratulations, everyone. On to my favourite sport and table tennis. This year, Pendle finished second in the league, so very well done to them. And on football. Football is finished third in the league and were also runners up in the plate competition. Football Bs finished fifth in the league. Football Cs finished fourth in the league. Football D's finished last in the league. 
And finally, for netball, we have Netball A's, who finished top of the league and were on their way to the Roses to represent college sports. Netball B's came seventh in the league. Netball C's came sixth in the league. And Netball Rex came last in the league. So congratulations everyone, and thank you again to all of those who have taken part in Pendle College Sports teams this year. We really appreciate the time you have put in to representing the college list this year, and we look forward to seeing you all again next year. Take care everyone. Thanks Luke and Chantal. I think we can all agree it's been an incredible academic year of sports here at Pendle. I'm so happy and proud to have become part of such an amazing community of people. I know, as I'm sure other freshers like me will also know, that they won't be leaving Pendle Sports until they graduate. So all that's left to do is to award our graduates with their colours. For those who don't know, colours are awarded based on the time and dedication given to Pendle Sports. So we want to say a massive well done to all of those who have been part of Pendle Sports for one, two, three, four, or even five years. Half colours are given to people who are part of Pendle Sports for one to two years, and full colours are given to people who are part of Pendle Sports for three or more years. Those receiving full colours are Aaron Stanyard, Alice Mills, Bella Proctor, Ben Whitehead, Brad Carrigan, Catherine Tennant, Danny Ashworth, Diego Reinek, Eleanor Navrady, Erin Oldno, Ethan Lopez, Georgia Whelan, Gwenny Hoslett, Hannah Gmerick, Hannah Wrigley, Harriet Scotland, Imogen Fawcett, James Benson, Joe Barnes, Joe Nichols, John Hughes, Joseph McDougall, Josh Bond, Keaton Carter, Luca Schick, Luke Parnell, Matthew Feldman, Milan Pandit, Muna Lasimba, Noah Pell, Peter Viney, Regina Gax, Sophie Green, Tommy Nguyen, Victor Christoph, Yusef Torfik, and those receiving half colours are Edward Chandler, George Lindsay, Lauren Hart, Phoebe Jackson. And now the night comes to an end. Thank you for all of those who have taken part in this video and all those who have watched it. It has been a very long and difficult task to put all of this together. So thank you to Fraser and Jacob, our media, for helping us. And for Lewis for helping me host, as well as all of the sports captains, all of the JCR, all of the SCR and everyone else. I wish, like you wish, that we could have put on an amazing Warriors and Pendle Cup as planned. But unfortunately, this year was not to be. So let's hope next year is just as amazing and we'll hope to come back strong and win both. Have a great night and stay safe, everyone.